Hi guys, so in this lecture I am going to solve the end problem of the chapter number 3 which is actually 3.12 in which you have to simplify the following or the given boolean functions in the product of sums. Alright, so you have to find the final uh, representation of the function as the product of sums which is actually the standard form of the function and the function which is given right now is actually as the summation of the main terms it's in the form of the summation of the main terms and we know that the summation of the main terms representation of a function uh, are actually corresponds to the value where the function is equal to one always so whenever you are given the representation of a function as a summation of main terms these main terms corresponds to those values of the function where it is equal to 1 and the remaining main terms that are actually missing will be representing the values of the function which is equal to 0 all right so if you represent this function where its value is equal to 0 it will always be written as the complemented form or as the f complement so you can see first term which is actually missing over here will be representing the value of the function equal to 0. So I will place 0 in place of the first main term which is actually m1 then 0 1 2 3 4 5 is already here 6 is here 7 is here 8 is here then 9 10 is here so I will not write 1 11 12 13 14 and 15 okay why i have marked 0 over here because i have filled the mean terms that are actually missing in this representation with the expression 0 since f represents the value of the function equal to 1 that's why 0 represents the complemented form of the function so the complement of the function of w x y and z will be written as the summation of the mean terms that can be written as first these four adjacent squares are combine that will get, give us the value wx then plus you will combine these four adjacent squares and you will get the expression x complement and then z then plus you are left with only this zero you will have x and then y complement and z complement fine and since these are actually the complemented form representation of the function in order to get the f or obtaining the original value of the function i will again take complement of this whole expression so f double complement of w x y and z will result in the original value of the function of w x y and z and you will obviously take the complement on the right hand side as well Okay. Now let's apply the De Morgan's theorem for expanding. Expanding this, you will get W X complement. Sum will be replaced by the product sign X complement Z. Then again X Y complement Z complement whole complement. When you will expand it, you will get W complement plus X complement. Then X plus Z complement, and then x complement plus y plus z which is actually the product of sums representation the result value for the part b
you have been given the representation of a function f o a b c and d as the product of max terms that are 1 3 5 7 8 9 10 and then 15 again if i do write this product of sums representation i can also mark it as m1 m3 m5 m7 m13 and finally m15 and it's actually f of a b c and d now what if i take the complement on both sides so what i'll get from here i'll get m1 complement and the product sign will be replaced with the summation sign then m3 complement plus m5 complement plus m13 complement and finally m15 whole complement all right and we know that the min terms and the max terms are the complement of each other so the complement of m1 will result in the min term m1 all right so the complement of the max term is actually equal to the min term the corresponding min term of this will be equal to m1 then plus m3 plus m5 plus m13 plus m15 and here on the left hand side you will have actually the f complemented form of this function now we are having the representation of the complement of a function as a summation of the min terms so let's just draw this in the k map and since the it's actually the complement form of the function that's why i will place zeros rather than placing ones since the complement actually corresponds to the zero value of the function so you will have 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 and 1 1 i'll have zero over here then zero over here zero 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 and zero okay and this let's just simplify this expression now the f complemented form is actually equal to b complement d plus by combining these four consecutive zeros you will get b into d since it's the complemented form of the function i will again take its complement in order to retrieve the original function which will result in b complement d plus b d whole complement and that's equal to the individual complements according to the de morgan's theorem all right and when you will apply the de morgan's theorem you will get this is equal to b plus d complement into b complement plus d complement hence the given function has been represented as the product of sums if you have any question you can drop the questions in the comment section thank you for watching